here. Well, here we go. Four hours on the plane. Four hours on the plane. Four f***ing hours on this goddamn plane. <sighs> Finally we're here, man. Like, I've been on this plane for hours, man. <sighs> this is actually like a great camera shot angle right, right here. Like, look at that. Welcome to Midwest Fur Fest 2019. Welcome to City 17. Oh my god. <laughs> Imagine in the voice, welcome, welcome to City 17. How can I help you? Welcome to City 17. Welcome. Number 8, City 17. Number 8, City 17. <laughs> okay, so right now I'm gonna take a photo of Tony on this camera. This camera has a flash bulb in it and it's gonna be bright as. If you, want, if you want to avoid getting blind, I recommend closing your eyes. You ready? Yeah. Here we go. Three, two, one. Man, that was bright. Whoa! The smell! So, what's this guy's name? Wait. Really? Yeah. Just, just literally. Yeah. Just. When I wear it, I'm covered in. If you don't know who this guy is, he's a popular YouTuber, and now he's a furry. For real. Oh yeah, there's this guy walking around with a VHS camcorder recording all the furries onto VHS. But I wonder if I inspired him to do this because, well, I've actually made a con video on VHS. Which you can look up on my YouTube channel if you want. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry to bother you all. Is Kale in here? Kale is here? No, no. Kale's not at the con. Oh well. Take your time. You came to the right place. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the first ever Dopio's Fan Club! Ah, the soda fountain! Oh my god, yes! Okay, every time I go to this convention, I take a ton of photo of this machine because for some reason, I just love it. And what's cool about it is you don't see this stuff often at furry conventions, too. Oh boy, well folks, um, sorry I couldn't do a long con video for YouTube this year, but to end this video on YouTube, I might as well show you some of the goodies that I got from the convention this year. So anyways, I got a uh, Santa Claus hat at the con. I also got like three badges from a guy named Chris at the con. This one says obey and ooh, it's spooky. But I gotta admit, the art style is pretty amazing. Like look at this, it's all professional, it's all realism, it's, it's really cool. He also made another version of this with the white background and it's really cool. So he knows I'm pretty much into like the whole hypnosis thing. 
He also made another badge featuring Al the Wolf with an old VHS camcorder. And it says, Biogods with a live action camera. And in the back of it, it's very spooky too, so it's really cool. Like Now, I personally want to thank Chris for making these because these badges are awesome. They're amazing. I love the quality of it. And Chris, thank you so much for making these, dude. I really love it. It's awesome. It's wonderful. And you're an awesome guy. So thank you so much for these lovely badges. Oh yeah, when, when I was at the con, I got some traditional artworks too. So I got this one. I'll put the artist right here so you guys can like look them up online. They make good quality artwork. Oh yeah, when... Chris sent me an envelope, he sent me cash too, but he also, like, draw artwork of Al on the, uh, what's this thing called? It's called envelope? No, no, not envelope, but envelope? Uh, whatever it is, basically he put this lovely artwork on this thing, and I really love it. It's absolutely amazing. Oh yeah, the con, I also commissioned this, this other artist to draw this lovely artwork of Al on traditional paper. Originally, I was gonna do, like, digital artworks this year, but I ended up getting a lot of traditional artworks instead. But I love the quality of this artwork. It's absolutely amazing, and Al looks awesome. I also commissioned art from this artist. I, I, I really love the cartoon style of this character. Like, Al looks so absolutely adorable in this art style. And I got an artwork of Al the Wolf as a pinata. And I'll put the, the, the name of the artist right here so you guys can look him up. I'll put all the links down in the description below so you guys can look up the artists online because the artists are absolutely amazing and they deserve a lot of credit in this video on YouTube. Oh yeah, when I was at the con, it was actually the 20th anniversary of the convention too, so I got this lovely book that has like information and stuff. And what's cool about it is it's actually the 20th anniversary of the convention too when I was there. I bought hoodies, shirts, and I also bought this lovely pen with the 20th anniversary on it as well. So this thing's pretty cool. Oh yeah, I, I bought a couple of pins at the con. So I bought a, <laughs> a pink eye pin. <laughs> and I got the Ask the Werewolf pins too. While I was first sitting in public, I saw somebody in a Santa Claus costume giving out presents to everyone at the con. And I got this lovely sushi by them. I found the Fox Dad comic book at some person's uh, booth at the con. And basically when I saw the book there, I was like, wait a minute, is Al still in the comic book? Because a while back, Al actually made a, a cameo appearance in the comic, and basically it was part of some kind of Christmas thing going on during the time. So here's an image of him actually making a cameo appearance in the comic. But yeah, the Fox Dad comic series is absolutely amazing, and I love it. And you guys will love it too because it has a lot of Fox Dad uh, furry puns in there. I also got the keychain too, so this thing's absolutely amazing. All right, folks, we're almost done with this video. So basically, when I was at the convention, I collected a. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, so basically when I was at the convention, I collected a shit ton of business cards from people at Dealer's Den and Artist Alley. I know you guys are thinking, okay, why the fuck does the Biogods collect a lot of business cards at furry conventions? Well, the thing about me is I love collecting um, art from people like, like, like this because every time you look at a furry business card from people out there in the furry fandom, each business card has a unique art design on it and it's beautiful, it's wonderful. And that's why I like collecting them because each art design is really special and unique. And I always do this every year when I go to big furry conventions like MFF, BLFC, and you know, cons like that. Well folks, that's all I gotta say really. I mean, that's all I got right here. So yeah, um, in, in the future I'll make more like better con videos than this. Like I'm, I'm sorry I couldn't do a lot of filmmaking at the con this year is because when I was at MFF, I was actually doing a lot of photography stuff at the con so I was basically taking a lot of photos of people on film I will do an episode on that in the future but for now this is like the stuff I got from the con you know this year in 2019 so yeah that's pretty much about it folks if you like this video go ahead like subscribe and that's about it thank you all so much for watching this video on YouTube and have a wonderful day guys all right peace out and stay awesome